we all set, Nat? Oh, honey, will you let me just double check? Oh, Natalie. Let's see, I've got a wool sweater in case it's chilly, a summer suit in case it's warm, the umbrella's in the car in case it rains. Oh, Martin, I'm worried. Why? You're prepared for anything short of a monsoon. No, I mean about the kids. All right, we won't go. I'll call that hotel and tell them to tell the 300 out-of-town newspaper men that I'm not going to make the speech. Martin, will you be serious? I mean, do you think that we can really go off and leave Patty to supervise Ross? Do you think that we can leave him to supervise her? Well, I just don't know if she can handle him. Well, she'll have to learn. It's an old family tradition. After all, nobody thought you'd learn to handle me. Come on. Well, all ready to leave? Yeah, I hope so, Kat. Where's Ross? I haven't said goodbye to him. Well, let me see. He was here a minute ago. Oh, I know. I saw him riding on his... skateboard. Hi. All set to hit the road? All set to hit the ceiling, young man. How many times have I told you no skateboards in the house? May I, Papa? Well, well, well. It's getting a little chilly after this time of year, isn't it? Huh? I mean, if it gets any cooler, we might have to light a fire. Give me that. Uh, uh, uh. From now on, any wood in the living room that is not strictly furniture is strictly kindling. Dig? I dig, I dig. You see, Papa, it's all a matter of child psychology. Right, child? Oh, brother, what a weekend this is going to be. <laughs> Meet Kathy, who lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of matching bookends, different as night and day. Where Kathy adores a minuet. The ballet ruse and crepe Suzette. Our patty loves to rock and roll. A hot dog makes her lose control. And what a wild duet. Still the cousins. Identical cousins. Stand you apart. They laugh alike. They walk alike. At times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind. When cousins. Don't forget to put the empties out for the milkman and leave the money for the newspaper boy in the letterbox. We will, Aunt Natalie. Have a nice trip. Yes, dear. Oh, and don't forget, in case of emergency, Aunt Martha's number is in the phone book. You told us. Goodbye, Mom. How Goodbye, about... darling. Mom, well, down that speech, Papa. I'll do my best, honey. Oh, and we're going to be at the Cumberland Hotel now. Do you, you want to write it down? You wrote it down four times. All right, sweetheart. Okay. Good now, time. don't worry. There's not a thing to worry about. Yeah, the warden will take good care of us. Now, that'll be just enough out of you, young man. You just keep busy and stay out of trouble. Which reminds me, that mess you made in the basement last week, I want you to quit stalling and get that cleaned up before we get back here tomorrow. Just put it out of your mind, Papa. He'll do it. Oh, and one other thing, Natalie, darling, I forgot... Natalie, please, oh, please. all right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Take care of yourself Drive now. carefully. Yeah, See ya. See, I told you Patty could handle Ross. She'll have a meeting out of her hand. You mean out of her fist, don't you? She seemed awfully rough on him. Yes, dear. Come on, let's get in the car. I'm sure Patty will handle him with kid gloves. <laughs> what are these for? Time to go underground, little mole. Huh? The mess in the basement you're supposed to clean up, remember? What's the rush? I've got all weekend. Now, you're not going to stall me like you do Mom and Papa. Get moving. Will you get off my back? Ross, I hate to pull rank, but if that job isn't done by this afternoon, there will be no dinner for you tonight. You mean you'd let me starve? <laughs> Ross, I just have to put my foot down. But why on my neck? <laughs> Look, Ross, if you expect me to slave over a hot stove all day, the least you can do is stop stalling and get to work. But I'm not stalling. I've got an appointment. To do what? To play chess with a guy. So if you'll excuse me. Wait a minute. You mean you invited somebody over here without telling me in advance? Why? So you could put him on the work squad, too? Ross, you're pressing me. You really are. Okay, we'll let the basement go. For now. But one thing I'm going to insist on is that you clean up your room before you start playing. Are you kidding? And let Billy think I'm the maid around here? <laughs> Hi, I got the chessboard all set up. Great, let's go. Yeah. Ross! Remember what I said about cleaning up your room? Ross, did you hear me? <laughs> Ross! <laughs> Ross! 
Checkmate. Boy, are you ever off your game? Who can concentrate? It's like living in Stalag 17 around here. Oh, Ten Hut, here comes the sergeant. Very funny. Bed not made. Shelves not in order. Room not dusted. <laughs> Ross, what did I tell you about straightening up your room? I'll do it, I'll do it. Can't you see I'm busy right now? I'm warning you, I'll be back in five minutes and I'd better see some progress. Excuse me. Regular dictator. Today she rules the house, tomorrow the world. There'll only be two places for lunch, Kathy. Really, Patty, don't you think you're carrying this thing a little too far? If you'd been a sister as long as I had, you'd know the only way to a lazy brother is through his stomach. Well, it's D-J-H hour. Well, that's no use. I just can't concentrate. Maybe I should give in and tidy up the room just a little. And let your sister think she's got the upper hand? Well, what else can I do? You gotta use a little muscle. Like what? Like the next time she pulls any of that jazz, well, do what I do, run away. Thanks a lot. I like it here. <laughs> well, I don't mean really run away. You just tell her you're gonna run away. It's all a snow job. You don't know Patty. She doesn't bluff that easy. <laughs> she will if she's anything like my sister. You tell her you're cutting out and she'll get so spooked, she'll be eating out of your hand for the rest of the weekend. It's your move. Okay, I hate to do this in front of you, Billy, but I'm sorry. Hey! There will be no more games until this room is completely straightened up. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll tell you, Patty, if you don't lay off, I'm... I'm gonna run away. Oh, really? Where? I don't know, but if you don't get off my back, I'm gonna go someplace. Oh, well, suit yourself. <laughs> oh, well, and to prove there's no hard feelings, I'll make you a nice lunch. <laughs> You and your big ideas. Now what do I do? You can't give in now. You gotta get through with it. Besides, she's just bluffing. You'll see. He's just bluffing. You'll see. Can I have the liverwurst, please? Patsy, don't you think you're pushing Ross a little too hard? Kathy, one of the first things you'll have to learn about bringing up children is that when they threaten you, you have to call their bluff. Well, what if he is serious? What if he does run away? He'll come back. How do you know? He hates liverwurst. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going. Pardon? I I'm running away. Oh. Goodbye. Well, uh, n nice meeting you, Patty. I gotta get going. Oh, yes, nice meeting you too, Billy. Look, uh, why don't you come back in a few days? Maybe I can give you Ross's new address. <laughs> well, uh, I guess this is it. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Mm -hmm. See you around. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Bye. See you around. You said that already. Yeah. Ross? Yeah? You forgot your sandwiches. Oh. Have a nice trip. Well, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. See you around. How are we going to start that again? <laughs> now, uh, don't you worry, and good luck, and be sure to write once a week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, uh, I forgot a few things. Oh. oh. The weather should be nice in Alaska this time of year. Oh, I'm so glad you're taking those. You might want to arrest a polar bear. This time I'm really going. Pretty sure I haven't forgotten anything. Well, if you have, we'll send it to you. Air freight. <laughs> Happy skiing. <laughs> Hello, dear. Oh, hi, Mom. Are you in Atlantic City already? Well, not quite, but we just thought we'd stop off and call. We thought. <laughs> what I called about, dear, is if Mrs. Ellis phones, be sure to tell her that we'll be home by tomorrow evening. You told her that yourself yesterday. I did? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, anyway, as long as I have you on the phone, how is everything there? Oh, just fine, Mom. Ross isn't giving you any trouble, is he? 
Oh, no. Handling him is like child's play. What'd you have for lunch? Natalie, this is a toll call. Well, my three minutes aren't up. Let me say hello to Ross before I hang up. Ross? Yes, your brother. Oh, Ross! <laughs> yeah, I'll get him. I hope. <laughs> Ross! Oh. <laughs> I knew it. You want me to come back? I don't care what you do, but Mom is on the phone, so get on the phone and tell her you're fine. Hey, you know what Patty did? She packed me a lunch and then... <laughs> what he meant, Mom, was I made him some delicious sandwiches for lunch. She threw me out of the house. <laughs> what did Ross say? Patty, you're not being too hard on him, are you? Oh, no, no, Mom. I'm treating him just as you would. <laughs> don't believe her! <laughs> well, goodbye, dear. And don't forget Natalie. to... Natalie. Keep up the good work. Yeah, Mom, I'm going to go by. Mom. Mom. Ross, sit down. What for? I think we should have a little talk. Oh, boy. Someday you're going to make somebody a terrible mother. Because you're so immature. You know I wouldn't let you run away. Why not? You've always wanted my bedroom. That's beside the point. How do you think Mom and Pop would feel if you told them that I let you run away? I don't know. Why don't we ask them? Let's see. It's the Cumberland Hotel. They're not there yet, and they won't be there for hours. Okay, I'll call after six. The rates are cheaper, and I can complain twice as long. You wouldn't dare. Oh, yes, I would. Ross, that's not fair. Um, couldn't we work this out together? Uh, you mean you'd do anything just so they wouldn't find out? Well, of course. They're depending on me. Okay, well, I'm a reasonable man. You treat me right, and they'll never have to know anything. <laughs> you can start by hanging up all my junk. My snowshoe. Coat. Oh, yes, my handcuffs. And then uh, also, I can unpack my bag and clean up my room. <laughs> you know, this might turn out to be a pretty nice weekend after all. <laughs> Or should I say good afternoon? Please knock. Well, here you are. Breakfast in bed, just as you ordered. Let's see now. Toast, honey, jam. You forgot the peanut butter. Oh, I am sorry. I'll go get it. Hold it. What's this? Scrambled eggs. I hate scrambled eggs. No buts. Fry them. Ross, I am not going to... Yeah? Take longer to th than a minute to fry your eggs. <laughs> and I'd like uh, chocolate milk, not plain. Yes, dear. Will there be anything else? I'll let you know. That does it. Get your own breakfast. Okay, I will. Down at the bus station. Oh, now, wait a minute, Ross. I was only kidding. Um, I'll have your uh, fried eggs in a minute and your chocolate milk and peanut butter. I just can't find decent help these days. I'm telling you, Kathy, I don't know how I'm going to get through the day with that little ankle biter ordering me around. I don't think it's safe for me to go over to Lori's and study. Are you sure you don't want me around for protection? I'm sure. There's no point in two of us living under the whip. Hey, let's get with those eggs. Let's have a little service around here. <laughs> Why are you letting him blackmail you? Because I don't want to let the folks down. And you're afraid he'll run away again. That's right. And this time he'd stay just to spite me, the little fink. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patty. It's ruining your whole weekend being chained to Ross like this. Yeah, it's one big drag. Hey, Kathy, that's it. Well, goodbye. Uh, have a good time and tell Lori I said hi. I told you, knock. Here's your breakfast, and if you don't like it, you can go down and make your own, and then you can clean up your room and get on the basement like your father told you to. You'll never learn, will you? And if you think I'm just threatening this time... Oh, I don't think you're just threatening. And you're going to let me run away? No, I didn't say that. Try and stop me. <laughs> oh, boy. If you, if you don't rate some kind of prize for this. Pretty clever, huh? Just about as clever as I was two years ago. 
when I lost the key. <laughs> Uh, hello, is this the Eagle Locksmith? Oh, good. I wonder if you could make a house call. You see, I'm stuck... Uh, yeah, I, I know it's Sunday, but this is an emergency. Well, it's over five. Oh. Well, if you're gonna turn, would you at least make a hand signal or something? I'm sorry. There's gotta be some way out of this thing. Hey, do we have a hackney saw? That's hacksaw. No, we don't. Well, let's go buy one. Ow! The stores are closed. Then let's go borrow one from the Marlowe's. Will you take it easy? Brothers and sisters should be close, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> For inspiration, today's progressive journalist has only to look to the diner. There's dyna no answer. Oh, well, maybe they went out. Out where? They weren't planning to go out. Then they made an unplanned trip. Today's progressive journalist has only to look to the dynamic founders of this great nation of ours. Nobody was home? Oh, don't worry about it, dear. They probably just went out to the market. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. In the same way that our forefathers dedicated themselves to principle, regardless of personal consequence. You sure you had the right number? I think I should know my own phone number. I guess. Uh, we must dedicate and rededicate our efforts. Only in a decadent society is the pursuit of personal... See, why would they go to the market? You left plenty of food. Honey, will you stop worrying? Who's worried? I... Uh, personal gain at all costs, so common as to be considered a run of the real... A run of the mill attitude. <laughs> you know, Natalie, I think you ought to call again just to make sure you got the right number. And I think you should concentrate on your speech. How can I concentrate when you're obviously so worried about the children? <laughs> time the models picked to go to the mountains. We gotta find a hacksaw. How about Sing Sing Prison? Look, Ross, I got enough trouble with your wrist. I don't need any of your lips. <laughs> Where are you going? Get a glass of water. Oh. You mind using the other hand? I'm not thirsty. <laughs> Hello? Hello, dear. How are you? Oh, uh, just fine, Mom. Just fine. We're not fine. We're not going. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, well, uh, nothing, Mom. What'd you say? Where were you? We called and there wasn't any answer. Oh, uh, we were out. Yeah, looking for a saw. We were out looking for a saw? No, no. What he meant was we were out and we were looking and we finally saw what we were looking for. She's not. No, she's not telling the truth. I, 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 what did Ross say? Uh, nothing, Mom. You know what to put on he is. <laughs> How'd the speech go? Oh, your father was a big hit. Here, I'll let you talk to him. Thanks. Hi, honey. How are you? How's everything going? Just fine, Papa. Uh, Ross isn't getting out of hand, is he? Oh, no, no. That's one thing he's not doing. Uh, can I talk to him for a moment? Uh, well, he's uh, kind of tied up right now. <laughs> oh, has he done anything about that basement? Well, you tell him that if that isn't finished by the time we get home tonight, it's going to cost him a month's allowance. Oh, okay, I'll tell him. Bye, Papa. Bye. You... Tell me what? That if you don't get that basement cleaned up by the time they get home, it's going to cost you a month's allowance. Not when I tell him why I couldn't do it. Boss, that's a lie. It is not. Just a gross exaggeration. I beg you to do it all day yesterday. You have no right to blame it on me. Do you see anybody else I can blame it on? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Rather than have you lie about it, we'll both clean up the basement. Come on. Oh, what a mess. Yeah, well, let's get started. <clears throat> let's use our heads, huh? Yeah. That's using our heads. <laughs> oh, we're not getting it any 
place like this. You think you can sweep better? Here, try. Sorry. <laughs> Sit there, give me a hand. Which one? Take the shovel out of your left hand. Yeah. Put it in your right hand. Very good. Now put your left hand on the broom. Now sweep. Yeah, that's enough. See, Ross? It's all up here. <laughs> No comment. Ross, just remember, this is your job. I'm only cooperating. Really? Could have fooled me. We've got to get out of these ridiculous handcuffs. Hey, wait a minute. I think I got an idea. My chemistry set. It's got to be in here someplace. Are you out of your tree? What do you want to play with your chemistry set now for? You don't understand. I've got sulfuric acid in that set. So what? It'll get us out of these handcuffs. It will? How? Well, you see, sulfuric acid is very powerful. It'll eat right through the metal. No kidding! Yeah, that stuff will eat through anything. Including people. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. There we go. Keep moving. Keep moving. You get back there. Okay. There. Well, you can't say I didn't help you. Don't think it makes any difference. I'm still going to tell them how you tried to make me run away. Oh. Boy, wait till they hear what... Boy. You okay? By the time I get through paying for that, I'll have to file bankruptcy. It's not really your fault, Ross. I should have warned you that the, the thing wasn't steady. You, you're willing to take the rap? Why? Well, let's look at it this way. Uh, my allowance is bigger than yours, and I can afford it. You mean you do that for me after all I put you through? You know what you are, Patty? You're the greatest sister a guy could have. Well... Of course, uh, Mom and Papa won't believe that after you tell them that I was going to let you run away. Who's going to say anything like that? You're not? Why would I ride on the only sister I've got? Uh, thanks, Ross. Look, I could have been in hot for the rest of my life, but thanks to you, I'm off the hook. <laughs> hey! We're free! That must be Mom and Papa. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. You know, Patty, you're the greatest. Haven't I been telling you that for years? <laughs> How many people were there? Oh, thousands. Literally thousands. Literally 300. Wow. So your speech was a gas, huh? Lots of applause? Well, I guess you might say I got a sitting ovation. <laughs> I'm glad to see you two got along well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ross wasn't any trouble at all. You see, I told you there was nothing to worry about. No? Yeah, you might say this weekend brought us a lot closer together, huh, Ross? <laughs> Ross? No. Patty, I can't help it. I just gotta come clean. Ross. The truth is, I thanked out. You know those dishes in the basement? Well, I broke them. All of them. Really? But don't worry, I'll pay for it. Every last cent. Ross, now you really... But, Patty. I did it, I'll take the wrap. Dad, you know that raise you were gonna give me in my allowance? Well, maybe you just better keep it and take it out of that. And if that's not enough, I'll give up my lunches at school. And you may as well forget about my birthday and Christmas. Ross, nobody's asking you to pay for it. You're not? Of course not. It was just some old junk Patty and I were saving for the PTA white elephant sale. Yeah, but it was my fault and it... <laughs> white elephant sale? But I thought that... Why didn't you tell me? You didn't ask. <laughs> See, Ross, you'd save yourself a lot of problems if you just confide in your sister once in a while. That's right, Bobo. I mean, what are sisters for, hmm? <laughs> Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere From Zanzibar to Barclay Square The birdies only seen the sights The girl can see from Brooklyn Heights What a crazy pair But they're cousins Identical cousins And you'll find They laugh alike, they walk alike, you're tired 
sometimes they even talk alike. You can lose. 